Hello, Jacob. And, uh, well, go ahead and kind of uh, give you my final thoughts on not just the Minnesota Vikings Week 1, but just the NFL Week 1 in general, because, wow. <laughs> Let's just say there are some uh, games and scores that I was not anticipating happening this week. And, uh, well, first and foremost, the entire NFC North goes 0-1 at the end of this week. Literally, the entire NFC North is 0-1 going into Week 2. Wow, I was not anticipating that at all. I mean, especially because, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I had a feeling the Rams were going to probably handle the Bears. The Lions actually held in pretty well against the uh, Niners, only losing 41-33, to which was a lot closer than I thought they were going to lose by. And I know, moral victories, this, that, and the other thing, but again, holding tough against an NFC contender, a Super Bowl contender at that, with a team that, well, had, let's just say, more questions than answers going into this season... And, uh, yeah, I mean, the Vikings actually look like the best team in the NFC North this week. Which, again, isn't really saying much of anything, because, well, again, you saw my halftime video. There's a reason I didn't really make a post-game video right afterwards either. <laughs> Yikes. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. We can only do what we can do, but, I mean, come on. <laughs> Yeah, sure, and, you know, obviously I could come on here and say, Well, the ref screwed us at the end. Yeah, try telling that to the ten penalties in the first freaking half. Yeah, and you expect to win after giving ten penalties. Now, are some of them ticky-tack? I don't know. I mean, was it just because of nerves and this, that, and the other thing? Again, who knows, but... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> again, I'm nervous now because the Cardinals absolutely mollywhomped the Titans today. Chandler Jones had five sacks today. Yikes. By the way, we get to go play them next week in Arizona. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that at this point. Oh, boy. Especially if our offensive line is going to be holding them literally every third play. <sighs> or getting beat like a redheaded stepchild. But, again, <laughs> you know, <laughs> obviously there's still a little bit of hate and pain there. But, eh, Vikings fan, you pretty much are, you know, it's pretty much par for the course at this point. But, again, though, I mean, yeah, I mean... <laughs> But really, I'd have to say, though, the surprise of the week so far is the Packers getting curb stomped. I mean curb stomped by the New Orleans Saints. And Jameis Winston, who went like 14 of 20 for like 150 yards, but five touchdowns. I mean, good Golly, Miss Molly. And I was kind of going back and forth between the Chiefs and Browns game, which was a very good game in and of itself. But, wow, I mean, just, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, let's put it this way. For the first time in a while, all four NFC North teams lost. And going out of week one, all four NFC North teams are 0-1. With the cherry on top being Matthew Stafford beating the Bears on Sunday night football. And pretty handedly too, which honestly for Stafford good, just because it's kind of nice to actually see him playing for a team for once. You know... <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, who knows? Going into next week, this is definitely going to be interesting to see what happens. But, yeah, I mean, it's... If you're an NFC North fan this week, you're kind of sad. 
But if you're an NFC West fan this week, holy moly, I mean, you're <laughs> you're on cloud nine at this point because I'm pretty sure every single NFC West team went 1-0 and this week. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's going to be, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens here because, again, we get to go into Arizona next week too, which, again, just... Chandler Jones going off for five sacks scares me, especially with all the penalties we've had and this, that, and the other thing, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens here, but <laughs> it's been interesting. Let's just put it that way. So, but yeah, I mean, that'll pretty much wrap this up because, again, we still have one more game after tonight, you know, obviously the Monday night game between the Ravens and the Raiders, so be interesting to see there what happens, especially because the Ravens literally went out and got like three or four running backs in the last about seven days or so, if not more like five days, but still, yeah, yeah it, wow, I mean, the Ravens are definitely going to be going, or definitely going to be on an uphill climb from here because, I mean... Yeah, there's only so much you can do when you lose as many big pieces as they have already, and we're only in week one, so, and there's still 16 more weeks to go, people, so, who knows what'll happen, but, again, yeah, let's just say week one was a fun one, unfortunately for me, I've definitely lost, you know, obviously, about a week or so of life, per se, but, yeah, that's just par for the course during this NFL season. But boy, I'm glad football is back. So, <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, until we meet again, this is Jacob, and stay tuned because, well, within the next couple weeks or so, hopefully I'll be getting some stuff in the mail that I've ordered. But, again, the Minnesota Vikings shop, God knows how long that's going to freaking be until that stuff ships. But, again, if there's any updates, I'll be sure to let you guys know, but... Let's just say it's probably going to be a while before I order from the shop again. Because I have like two things that I've recently ordered. So, again, we'll see. But, yeah. Again, bad thing about not being with Fanatics. But, again, you saw my last video about that. So, not going to really beat a dead horse there if I don't have to. So, but, yeah. And, basically, until we meet again, stay tuned for, you know, just stuff coming up in case there's anything that happens because again week one was an interesting one but yeah until we meet again this is jacob have a good night